Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's create this drawing in Creo Parametric. So here in this video, we will see how to clean the drawing views and how to clean the dimensions. Because by default, you get your drawing views like this and your drawing like this. So let's get started. Now to create the drawing, go to new, drawing. Now here you have this option, use drawing model file name. So when this option is checked, you get the same drawing file name as your part name, but when you uncheck, you can assign a new name. So I'll keep it checked and I'll say OK. Say OK. So now you got your drawing template as per your template selection. So you may have a blank template as per your template selection. Now once this is done, go to general view. and place the view. Select this top view, apply and say OK. Now the next thing is select this view, go to projection view and place the projection view. Now this is not the right projection. So this projection you are getting because this is the third angle projection. So change it to first angle projection. And for that, first you delete this view, go to file, prepare drawing properties, change. Now here go for find and here you type projection and say find now. So this is the projection type, by default it is third angle, change it to first angle, apply and close. Now you go for projection view and place the view. So this time you got the correct projection view. Now this drawing view looks very small and you have lot of space here. So fit your drawing views to this space and for that go to sheet scale. So this is your sheet scale. Just double click it and make it one. Now select the view, uncheck this log view movement and move this view. Just like this. Now one more time go to general view, place the view here, go to view display, setting with edges, apply and say ok. Now this is the isometric view, so this should be 50 to 60 percent of your sheet scale. So just double click it, go to scale, change to custom scale and make it 0.6, apply and ok. So you have placed all three drawing views. Now the next task is cleaning the drawing views. So you have lot of unnecessary lines here. So to clean this, there are two ways. First way is just double click this, go to view display and since you have lot of hidden lines here, change it to hidden. And this default, you make it to none and say apply. Now some of the unwanted lines like this, you can erase it using edge display. So here you select erase line, select the line and say enter. Similarly, I'll erase this line and this line and this side, this line and this line. Fit the drawing view and say done. Now the same thing I'll do with this drawing view. So double click it, go to view display, change it to hidden and make it to none. Apply and say OK. Now if you see this drawing view, this line is missing and this curve is also missing. So when the first method does not work properly, you need to use the second method and for that you first make it default, apply and say OK. Now once you have this, go to edge display, erase line and erase all unwanted lines. So I'll start from this line. So 
fit the drawing views. Now you said done. So now your drawing views are cleaned. Now once this is done, go to annotate, show model annotation, show the model datums and then you select the drawing views. Now from here you select all and then you move your cursor like this. So this is not required and this is not required and say apply. Then you select this drawing view, select all, then move your cursor like this. This is not required and say apply, cancel. So now your drawing views looks like this. Now the next thing is adding the dimension. So for that there are two ways. The first way is create the dimension using dimension. Select this line, press and hold control key and select this line and place the dimension. Select this center axis and this center axis and place the dimension. And the second way is go to show model orientation, change to dimension and then select this first feature. So you are getting all five dimensions which were used to create the first feature. Now from this list you can select all, apply, cancel. Similarly you can go to show model annotation and you can directly select the part and you get all the dimensions at a time. Otherwise you can move from one feature to other. So this was the second method. Now the second method you can use in two different ways. First way is go to show model annotations, select the dimension and select these features one by one. Otherwise you can directly go to this feature, select the feature, right click and say show model annotation. So this way also you can access all the dimensions for that particular feature. So these are the two ways to create the dimension. Now what is difference between these two ways? So in first way we created the dimension using dimension. So this dimension and this dimension was created using dimension. And other dimensions are directly called from the part. So these dimensions are called model driven dimension and this dimension is called created dimension. So the basic difference is model driven dimension can be updated directly from the drawing. So you can double click it and you can make it 100, control G to update this, I can make it 80, control G, so I will make it 92, the exact value, but you cannot modify the created dimension, so if you double click it, you does not get that option. So this is the basic difference and that is why we do not prefer created dimension in Creo parametric. Now here you have the filter, so suppose you want to select all the dimensions, then if you try to select like this, you will select all the things, but to select only the dimension, you can go to this filter, select the dimension and select it and delete it. Once again change it to general for multiple selection. Now here this is the sheet scale, so you should not modify your drawing views using this scale. This should be default scale for sheet. The custom scale is for detailed view, isometric view and some other views. So always use this scale to change the scale for drawing views. This is your sheet size. So now you are using B size. So you can double click it and you can change to different sizes directly from here. Now let us add the dimension. So I will use the second method because I prefer that method. But before that first you go to edit, create snap line. Now here I am creating the snap lines to place the dimension. So in Creo parametric this is the auto snap you get. So you have two ways to create it by offset view and by offset object. So when you select offset object you can select this drawing lines. But if you have offset view then you can select this view lines. So select this view line, press middle mouse button to say enter. Now this is enter distance for first snap line. 
so this i will take point 4 number of snap lines so i prefer 4 or 5 so this time i'll go for 4 and then the distance between the snap lines so i'll take point 3 similarly all four side So done. Now I'll go for show model orientations. I'll select the first feature. I'll select all the dimensions. From here you can deselect the dimension. If you don't need this dimension, so you can just click these dimensions if you want to deselect. And if you say apply, these dimensions are removed. Once again, I'll select this feature. I'll say all and I'll say okay. Now immediately I will do the placement. These dimensions I will move this side. Now this dimension you can select it and you can flip the arrow just like this. This dimension I will move it outside. Now this dimension is not so clear here, I will move this dimension to this view, just like this. So now you can delete unwanted snap lines.
Now move the drawing views. Now to hide the snap lines, go to layout, display, snap lines. So whenever you need that snap line, you can go to display and select it. So all the dimensions are added. Now at last, I will go to annotate, show model annotation and I will select this part. So this will highlight that how many dimensions you have left to place in this drawing. So I have left three dimensions and why I have left these dimensions? Because this 30 is equal to this 30. This is the height of the rib. So I do not need the second dimensions. Similarly, this dia 12 is equal to this dia 12. So these two holes are equal. So I do not need this dimension and then this rib. So this rib size is this rib size and this rib size. So I have already given this dimension here. So I do not need this dimension. So cancel and your drawing is done. Now these snap lines are non-printable entities on this drawing. So no need to worry about this. You can directly take the print from this drawing. So this snap lines will not be visible. So let us try that and for that go to file, save as, export. Now here I will print it as a PDF. So I have selected PDF here. I will go to setting. Select monochrome, select your resolution, go to content, select use true type fonts and say ok. Now go to export and say ok. So now you see the PDF. So this is what you get the output. So it is coming really nice. So your snap lines are not there in your PDF. Close it. So this is how we create the drawing in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.